let me give you a short, um, you know, a result about semicircular contours. So these semicircular contours are used a lot. Uh, if any of you, um, I guess none of you took my advanced quantum mechanics course, so um, yeah, anyway. So suppose that we have a holomorphic function f of z um, and on a, uh, you know, semicircle, semicircular contour gamma parametrized by So because it's a semicircular contour, suppose uh, it has radius r and e to the power i theta, right? So theta can go from 0 to, two pi, 0 to pi or from pi to 2 pi, okay? And suppose that k is a real number greater than 1 and m is also... It, is a positive, are positive numbers, positive real numbers, such that um, <clears throat> the, if you take the integral over the holomorphic function on this open contour, so this is not a closed contour, it is bounded by m pi divided by r to the power k minus 1, okay? And that this, the right-hand side, vanishes as r goes to infinity. For, of course, k is greater than 1. Okay? So, for this kind of contours, it's, uh, you know, uh, what you can do is the following. So, suppose that you have the function uh, like this, and suppose that the function has some singular points like this, and you're told that, okay, can you compute this function along the real line from minus infinity to plus infinity, okay? So you have, you have a real part, so you, of course this is, a, this is a holomorphic function, but on the real line, it's going to be a real function. So you're given some real function and you're told that you have to integrate this function from minus infinity to plus infinity. And then what you do is that say, okay, can I think of this function as a complex function? So although you're given a real function and you're told to integrate it from minus infinity to plus infinity, sorry, um, I should use x here. And what you do is that you say, okay, let's uh, think of this as a complex function. And then um, see if we can close this contour, uh, say in the upper half plane or in the even or the lower half plane with a semicircular contour. And this is a contour uh, of radius r. So the, this is the, that part is called gamma. And if you see that, if you can somehow estimate or guesstimate that that function, you know, satisfies this bound, then you know that as you take r to infinity, 
the contribution to the contour integral f of z d of z where the contour dip, you know uh, is uh, so it is c where c is the real line plus gamma in that limit you know this integral then just becomes this integral okay and that's because the the value of the contribution to this integral from this part of the contour will go to zero because it uh, you know satisfies this bound so if your function satisfies this then you can just use this result the left hand side you can just evaluate it using Cauchy's residue theorem of f of z inside c and therefore you get to do this integral for free okay so this is the idea behind this uh, result so this might seem a little bit involved but let me just give an example to make this real So suppose I ask you to do this integral. Uh, it, it's from zero to infinity, and but the good thing is that it's an even integral. So a is some real number, a squared plus x squared, and b squared plus x squared. Okay, and because it's a real number, uh, because it's an even integral, we can say okay. Uh, this integral is the same thing as, say, um, doing this integral and dividing it by half. Okay, so uh, if I take a complex version of this integrand, So the complex version of this integrand is half uh, a squared plus z squared b squared plus z squared, right? Now, the integrand has poles in the upper half plane. At z equals to i a and z equals to i b okay and similarly now if i so if i do the integral over the upper half plane on a contour like this suppose i take the contour to be it goes from minus r to plus r and then we have a semicircle Sorry, this doesn't look like a semicircle, but imagine it, it is. And uh, and so this is minus r, this is plus r, and this is gamma, and this radius is r. Okay. So in the limit where r goes to infinity, this is a contour where the contribution from this part goes to zero um, uh, as r goes to infinity. And therefore, i, the integral that we're looking at, is um, you know, let's call this integral c, this uh, contour. So this, so c is this thing plus this thing, okay? So that where it's going to be, you know, z squared plus a squared, z squared plus b squared. But this is going to be half times two pi i times 
uh, the limit where z goes to i a and uh, you know z minus i a times one over z minus i sorry z uh, z plus a squared sorry that's not what I meant z squared a squared z squared plus b squared and the limit of z goes to i b z minus i b and then one over z squared a squared z squared b squared okay and of course this will cancel one of the factors of this guy and this will cancel one of the factors of this guy so you know when the dust settles you basically get pi over 2ab 1 over a plus b okay so uh here we did the um you know yeah so one of the things that we did assume here is that a is not equals to b is if a were equal to b then this poles would be higher order right so if it was higher order then you would have to you would have a double pole if you had a double pole then you would have to use the formula that i showed you to do de to uh, derive the value of the integral and what would that be in that case it's half times 2 pi i limit z goes to i a here a and b are now equal then d by dz z min minus i a whole squared and then my function was going to be i can rewrite as z plus i a squared because they're both double poles now z plus i a squared and this becomes pi over four a cubed okay which is exactly what you would expect by continuity from the previous result right okay okay any 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 questions So this is a so I understand that this um, um, lecture is a little technical, but I feel like you know unless I give you some of the theory behind when and when you, when you can use your contour integral or when you cannot, uh, you will basically make uh, some you know you will make uh, mistakes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 